All right, my friends, uh, great, great night tonight. I uh, hope everything's going well for you. I'm going to talk about installing uh, SmoothWin on the uh, Slate AX router. Um, that way we can get Speedify uh, onto the router to be able to bond two or three or four cellular connections to the router so that we can have a more stable upstream. Um, pretty excited about this. I know a lot of you are interested in Speedify, um, haven't felt like you could be able to get it to work. I've been using Speedify for my live streams for um, oh, about a year and a half now, and I have used kind of my own homegrown setup uh, previously, but I've been looking forward to being able to have something that was more um, available to the masses. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and this, this setup I think will work really well. Um, it is, we're going to be installing it on a consumer grade router that you can purchase on Amazon. Uh, and it's very, very easy to install. Um, so that, that's why I'm making this video to show you how, um, you can do this so that you can show up your uh, baseball field or your basketball gymnasium, um, plug in the router, uh, to a power bank. Uh, like a USB power bank, which is awesome, and then uh, connect your your telephone, your cell phones to the router, and then you're done. And you can uh, have that bonded cellular connection to then be used. You'll be broadcasting it uh, via like the five point, the five G, um, uh, the five gigahertz network to your Mevo cameras or whatnot. Anyway, so let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I've had the barrel router, which is the uh, older version of this router, for like a, about a year and a half, and I've I've really enjoyed it. But uh, this one is new. It's called the Slate AX. Um, uh, Jason Hoffman did a review of this. Um, at Doug Johnson Productions he did a review of this. So I'm I'm not going to go over a review of it because they've already done that. So and they've did it, done a good job. And I recommend you go watch their videos for that if you have questions about whether or not this router is the right thing for you. And I think it is. And after you watch this video today, if you have any inclining to want to have better um, streams for your, your uh, baseball or basketball streams, then this is probably right up your alley. Let's go ahead and hop on over to um, my browser where we can configure the router. Um, so I'm not going to show you how to actually set up the router initially. Uh, that's something you can do on your own. Uh, it comes with instructions in the box. So uh, go ahead and follow those instructions, get it set up, log into the router, uh, and then once you've logged into the router, you're gonna click on system, and then you're gonna click on upgrade, and then you'll click on local upgrade. Now we need to drag and drop the file here um, that's going to install the new fir firmware on the router, and I think this is a, an important point right now to have a quick conversation about this. If you are installing a new firmware on the router, it's likely that you're going to be voiding the warranty of that router. And it's also possible that you can completely render the router useless. So make certain that you're aware of that and that if you do have problems that you feel like you're, you have access to people that can help you or that you can do it on your own to get it back to a restored state or uh, just don't do this at all. Um, but if you feel like, uh, hey, you know, this is a hundred some odd dollars and there's a decent chance that it's going to work really, really well for me, yeah, this might be worth the risk. And I think in my opinion, in my situation, this is, it was worth the risk. I, this is a, a great, uh, great setup. So, uh, just be aware of that. So let's head back on over to here. So what we'll do is we need to download this file. And so we go over to the SmoothWan website and I think that is this page here. Go to smoothwan.com. Uh, and under smoothwan.com, you'll click on uh, downloads. Um, let's see, some downloads here, and that'll take us to this website. This is a GitHub website, and I know this looks like uh, GitHub is like everybody's favorite, like you know, tinker tinker website, and it kind of can be a little overwhelming. But you know, you're gonna be all right. So uh, what we'll do is um, this is the uh, the essentially the product. Project page that I think his name is Tal, his name or her name Talal Mash. I don't know who that is. Um, has created this project and huge, huge, huge shout out to them for doing this. But essentially, we need to uh, go to the downloads, right? And the one we're looking for is this file right here, uh, the uh, GLI Net Slate AX Web UI. Okay, you download that, save it to your computer. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to save it to my computer. Um, and then uh, you'll want to we'll go through the installation here. All right, so I have uh, downloaded the the file, and now I'm going to select the file from my computer here. This is the one we just downloaded, the SmoothWan uh, firmware. 
we'll go ahead and upload this file. Uh, and then I, this is important. Um, we want to toggle the keep settings off. Make certain the keep settings is set to off. And we'll go ahead and install. And then we'll wait while this installs. This could take a minute and I'll go ahead and speed up the video for that. Okay, now that is complete, what we need to do Now that that is complete uh, in uh, uploading the firmware and installing, now what we need to do is connect to the SmoothWAN setup Wi-Fi. Um, so if you uh, you can't see it on my computer right now, but I'm going to change my wireless network to the SmoothWAN setup wireless network, and I'm going to connect to that. Um, the password for that, let me go back and look. I believe the password is Brass World. Yes. So the SmoothWAN setup. The IP address is 172.17.17.2, and the password, the Wi-Fi SSID is smooth one setup, and pass, Brass World is the password. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect to this. Um, uh, let's see if I can grab it. I can just type it in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in now to the device. Um, and there is no password once you log in. You'll want to change that later. Um, I don't need to change that for you now. But what we need to do, th there's a, a quick setup instructions here for you. So plug at least one WAN with an internet access into the LAN 2 or the WAN. So what that's saying is, is we need to plug in uh, a network connection into the, uh, into, the, into the router itself. Or you can also connect to Wi-Fi stations and by clicking on scan wireless. So there's multiple ways of doing this. Um, I don't where I'm at right now. I actually don't have a network cable um, in my wife's office. We're just on wireless here, so I'm going to have to do this wirelessly. Um, so we'll go over to network and click on wireless, and then I will find. Let's go ahead and connect here to the uh, 2.4 gigahertz network. So uh, what happened to Sergeant Pepper? Where did you go? Sergeant Pepper. So go ahead and join Sergeant Pepper. And we'll type in my password. All right, and then you can just leave this here. This is the correct look. This is the correct setup. Everything else is the correct setup. We'll hit submit. Um, okay, and then we'll just go ahead and hit save. We're done. We need to save and apply. Once you've saved the network, you actually hit save and apply for things to take place. So now we can see here Sergeant Pepper is now up and running. Now that we have uh, set up the wireless network and we've got internet to the uh, router, we're going to go over to the VPN here and click on Speedify. And then we're going to trigger an install update. And uh, we'll hit save and apply. And that will begin to install Speedify. And we click over here on the, the log, we can actually see that it's downloading. I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And now that I'm logged in, that's it. I'm connected and I'm up and running. So now that we're connected, um, I'm going to go ahead and connect a second device. On your computer, it'll actually not say, uh, on your device, it'll not say Verizon Wireless or WLAN. I already set that up. Yours will say ETH0 for your Ethernet device. Um, but I'm going to uh, go ahead and connect my phone, tether that. So now I've turned on my tethering and you can see um, my Comcast cable has shown up. Let me turn off the Wi-Fi on my phone. So we'll just go off of T-Mobile now. Okay, so now I'll switch that over to T-Mobile. So my phone, I just turned off the Wi-Fi for my phone, which is connected to my home network. Uh, and it's going to switch it over to uh, this USB zero, which is my phone that I just plugged into the USB A port on the back of the router. It now is T-Mobile. Okay, so I've connected my phone. 
to, here's my phone, and I've connected to the, oh, let's see if I can connect this over here, to the back of the router here, the USB-A port, this one right here. Okay, and then this is my home network, uh, which the port on my home network is actually not working right now. Uh, and then this is connected to my computer. Um, so, ah, I've got too many things here. So USB-A, this USB, this USB-A port here is my phone. This black one here is connected to my computer. And this white one here is my home network. Um, and this is, this is how you should have your setup. Home network connected directly to your computer. And then this is connected to your phone that tethers. Now, if you have an iPhone, um, iPhones do not allow, I think it's after iOS 13, they don't allow tethering of your internet connection to a computer that isn't trusted or a router that isn't trusted. Well, that's created a lot of problems for people wanting to share their network with um, a router or whatnot. So the only way to share an iOS internet connection right now is via Wi-Fi. So we need to go ahead and set up that Wi-Fi connection um, in Speedify, so that, or excuse me, in SmoothWAN, so that you can use an iOS connection as well as a hotspot connection. Um, and so there's a, and this is, this was the step here that confused me the most. Um, and I finally figured out, I spoke with the developer, he gave me an idea and I finally figured it out. So it, I'll help you out here. So let me switch, switch back on over. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch back on over to smooth WAN setup. And uh, so we were over here in the status overview. Now we're gonna come over here to the network and wireless interfaces, so that's where we're at now. So let me explain to this. So this right here is your five gigahertz network radio on the router. This is this is the smooth WAN setup. And then there is your, this is your, your 2.4 gigahertz radio, okay? So to be able to, to be able to connect um, your iPhone, iOS device to a 2.4 gigahertz network, you actually first have to disable the smooth WAN setup uh, wireless connection. So the the thing the thing with that is if you disable the setup and you're actually not connected to uh, the router via an Ethernet cable, you will not be able to finish the setup. So we're going to go ahead and disable this. And, and now that's disconnected and I am now still connected to the router via my network cable so I can continue to manage this. So now I'm going to go ahead and re, I'm going to scan using my 2.4 gigahertz network radio. I'm going to scan for available connections here. And then I'm going to find Blackbird. Okay, so on my iOS device, I have specified Blackbird uh, that's the name of my device, Blackbird. I like the Beatles, um, and uh, and I set up as a hotspot, a personal hotspot, and a lot of others to join. And I'm going to type in my password, um, and then leave everything else the same here. Uh, so we've done that, and then save that. And we're perfect. And then what will happen is now is uh, we'll hit save and apply. Oh, I needed to enable it first. Sorry. So I need to go back in. I think I need to enable this. Um, Blackbird. No, it's no, it's enabled. So now, oh, there we go. We're good. Now we're connected. Blackbird is connected. Okay. So Blackbird's connected. And so if we actually go back to our status overview, we will see that we have a couple of connections running. So we're going to have black my Verizon connection, which is my Blackbird. That's the WLAN one. And then a uh, USB zero is my T-Mobile connection. That was my cell phone that I connected via my, my USB-A, uh, USB-C to USB-A port. And that's it. So the, um, I, I, I don't know why it was so hard for me to figure out that one little step of you having to dis disable the smooth WAN setup um, and to then be able to scan for 2.4 gigahertz network and connect to that. But that was the issue. I also tried, uh, I was trying to connect to my hotspot via the five gigahertz network. And I guess I have an iPhone R XR and um, that I guess doesn't, uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot is 2.4 gigahertz. Maybe that's something that I set up. I don't know. Um, but uh, so that, um, by, that's how I was able to get those two connections. Now, so for a third connection, all I would need to do, like let's suppose that I have my other, T-Mobile hotspot. 
um, I would then just connect a USB-C cable here to a Ethernet. There's, they make these USB-C e Ethernet dongles, and I would then ah, <laughs> let's see if I can all these cables, uh, and then I could just plug it into this open port here. Now, um, and that's and that would that would get you three connections. And now that now that um, now that I'm set up and running, I can actually disconnect my computer here. This black cable, I can disconnect that. Um, and that would be that would be fine. So that would give me an extra port. So essentially, um, what I could have is I have connections. I have this could be my T-Mobile hotspot. This could be my T-Mobile cell phone. This could be my um, oh, let's say I got another AT&T hotspot. This is my uh, via wireless 2.4 gigahertz is my iPhone connection. Um, and there we go. And then, so that's going, the iPhone's on 2.4 gigahertz, and then my five gigahertz network is open to, for other devices that want to connect to all of the services. So I could uh, broadcast out my SSID. Uh, I, I could broad, I could have a, a five gigahertz network available for my Mevo or whatever, um, whatever devices that want to connect. So that's how it's done. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comments below. Uh, go ahead and, and, and like this video so that others can see it. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I, I'm pretty excited about this, and I think you will be too. Let me know if you have any questions.